All right. Welcome back to another episode of God of War Ragnarok. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. And we are making our run through the game. We are in Vanaheim, running along the main mission, and pulling the longest chain in the world. Hopefully, we'll be able to get this whole door lift in this episode. Yeah? We done? Okay. Woo, my arms are tired. So if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to leave a like on the video. It's a great help for me. I'm trying to hit uh, 500 subscribers by the end of the year. And I had a good run there for a while where we were just picking up a bunch every day, about 10 a day or so. And it's slowed down a little bit lately. So let me know what I can do to earn your subscription. And I will be glad to do it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. So we're running around with Freya right now. We met her brother Freya, and we're in Vanaheim, and we're just uh, <sighs> working our way to uh, figure out what's going on with this whole Ragnarok thing. You know, coming up here, we got some funky plants. We've already faced some dangerous plants in the game. So this is really nothing new to us. How do we miss that? There we go. You see that purple plant right there? If you come across this stuff, boom, just like in the last game. Those weird poison effigy things. That's what that is. Look at that. It's got a nice hidden chest back here. Always go off the beaten path, I'm telling you, man. If it's one thing you learn from me, it is don't, don't follow the path of least resistance. Look around. Well... Considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. Yeah, never works out. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Alright, so. Yeah, we had Atreus. Uh, so, this game varies uh, a little bit from the last one in the way that we're spending a lot of time apart from each other, um, Kratos. Ah! That was, that was so bad. <laughs> so, don't slip and fall into the poison, because it is not forgiving. Holy cow, that was bad. That was just... That was embarrassingly bad. All right. Puts us all the way back here. Fine. To the holes we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. I know. I just said that a little minute ago. You didn't hear me? Too busy flying around? Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns, yeah. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. I think we get a better angle up here. Yeah. Of course, it helps if uh, he used the right weapon, too. You know. Go ahead and get this chest. Funny how you can, you know, just be rolling along in the game. Ooh, the Shatter Star Shield. We are switching this puppy up. Yeah, I like this shield. So this is a cool one. Check it out. Where is it? There it is. So you can... Punch it. Create this blast. Knocks guys back. Very good shield. Um. Oh. The trace would agree with you about that. <laughs> he rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. Disappears for two games, trying to prove he is their champion. Fabled to fight Ragnarok. What? 
I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one claw concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Ha! Well done, brother. See that up there? Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate. Even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? <sighs> is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. Yeah, Freya, I get it. I get it. You're still mad. I'm sorry. I really am. Believe me, I thought, I thought we were going to have a chance to spare him in the last game. I honestly did. And then he pulled his crap and tried to kill his mom and Freya. I owed Freya for the life of my son. What was I going to do? Let him kill her? And then what? Couldn't let it happen. All right, so this is a fun area here. A little bit of a puzzle. Not horribly complicated. Um, first, we gotta free things up a little bit. That way we get that thing moving. And I believe... Yeah, see? It's got something that we can use to jump. Then we can move that around, lighting things on fire. And like that time we just lit, I think it was a, a cairn on fire for a, a Nornir chest. You think? Yeah, see, we lit that chest up, or we lit that um, razor up. There's another one right over here, so Use your to we need the to... to the yeah, I'm going to. Hold on. Bring this around. And we'll haul it toward us. And boom. Not yet. We got more stuff to do. We're going to haul it this way and light that brazier over there. Bingo, there's two. What's that? You don't even know where the chest is right now? Don't worry. We're about to find out. And we're going to go to the location of the third brazier. See it over there? How can you, of anyone alive, be squeamish about war? After all the thoughts you've There's the chest. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I do. After the price I pay. Look over to you. See what you have. So doing it ahead of time. Here we go. Maximum rage increased. Doing it ahead of time saves you a little bit of backtracking. No big deal if you missed it, you know, on the year. first time there. Um, you just start swinging that stuff around again. You got to do a little jumping and a little swinging and all that, but you get it. All right. I think that's it there. Yeah, most of the puzzles in the game aren't that bad. There's a couple that do get a little tricky. I have gotten stuck in some spots where it wasn't so much that the puzzle itself was tricky or too hard. 
It's just That's I was. One of Odin's I just didn't see a vital part of it somehow. All right, this guy's kind of a pain. That's right, buddy. Oh. Don't do that Bifrost stuff. Damn. That's right. Boom! A little fire for you. Let's get you a little more fire. Oh, that charge up. Damn it, he's tough. Trying to get out of his way, man. He's got such a long reach. Gotta get him knocked out. Come on. There we go. Oh. Yeah, suck on that, dude. Holy cow, we were close to death there. That was bad. That was a really terrible fight. Glaive of Jodir. All right. Well, let's see if there's any more health around here because we could really use it. Hopefully Freya won't make fun of me for that awful show of combat. Ragnarok will not bring back what you have lost any more than killing me. I am reaching my enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things? Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm quite the poet and wise man. I'm not just a killing machine. I wish you would stop looking at me that way. There we go. Yeah, you don't want to miss out on this. And check out that cool statue there. Quite impatient. Surprised she's not flying around pecking at me. I didn't like those boxes. They were looking at me funny. What do we got going on here? Oh. I see the plan already. That's right. You gotta wake up early in the morning to get me. Hmm, no goodies. All right, so it is puzzle time again. 
Now, this was kind of a fun one. Um, so, as you can see, we can't turn it because it's stuck between the tree and that post over there, right? So, what we got to do... Ah, that was bad. That was so bad. Remember that's there, okay? All right, so what we got to do is uh, go ahead and get that knocked over a little bit. But first off, let's grab this in here. And then right there. Well, that did it. But take the post down. Real simple. Let's see what else is down here for the moment. First time through, took this one took a little bit. All right, we got another chest. Looks like there's a lot of these crappy plants around it. Well, at least two of them. Any others? Don't see any others. All right. Let's go grab our loot real quick, and then we'll head back into the puzzle. All right, so with that knocked down, we're going to be able to spin it now. So we'll hop back up, and we will get it spun around so we can swing across here. I believe there's a bad guy here. Yep, let's get that little plant. Alright, not a bad guy, but a bad plant. Now we kind of want to get over there, right? So how do we do that part? Um, I think it swings back now. Yeah, see? So now we can go over and get the chest. Helios Flare, Light Runic Attack. We really have to take a look at our... Ooh, look at those spikes. At our uh, Runic Attacks and all that and get them updated because we haven't done anything with them for a while. Yep, don't want to fall in there. Even though you can't. So, this is our I'm next step. To kill again. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. Freya, come on, girl. I know I hurt you. I know I took your boy. And for that, I'm infinitely sorry. I cannot bring him back. Oh, there's one of those little Let's mushroom go. guys. Check him out. It's just past those doors up ahead. Couple, couple more up there. Can't access that yet, so this is a... Uh, we're definitely going to have to come back to Vanaheim, but I think you have to come back to all of the uh, different areas, if I'm not mistaken. At least to complete everything. All right, I think there's bad news ahead. There. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgar. What is this place? I hope those weren't like family graves. But as you can see, if you're low on health, it's a good place to go uh, 
gain a little bit back. Another reason to destroy a lot of stuff is you never know what you're going to find. And we were low on health, and we're about to fight a very nasty boss fight here. Hold on. Something's not right. Open Barra. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Oh, yeah. Here we go. Nepo! The creature! They belong to Odin? No. It protects Ingrisil's roots wherever they are. Master was counting on it. <laughs> Oh my god, he's so awful. Yeah, but when I get close, <laughs> you're trying to get me killed, lady. All right, there we go. Let's get him out of there. Yeah, that's much better. Still barely hurt. Damn it. It's still in the way. I need to get to those roots. I know. I'm trying here. There you go, buddy. Suck it. There we go. Oh! That's not good. In that case. Hurry. Yeah, hurry. Finally. Well, she is unleashing a little bit of fury on him, huh? There you go. Uh-oh. Sigil. 
Yeah, let's give a little. Ah! Oh, that hurt. Are we gonna do the thing again? That hurt. Ow! buddy how'd you like that Almost dead. That's right, baby. I'm going down. Oh, my God. I love these cinematic fight endings. Yeah, let's finish it. Come on. Oh, that hurt. Oh! There you go. How'd that feel? You're going down, buddy. No, we won't.
that's an epic fight right there. All right, Freya. Do your business, girl. This role was played so well. This is a broken woman. And it's just heart wrenching. Is it done? It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek. I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? Huh. What an There's honest moment. That is so angry. And it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Look. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. regret saving your life and never will but the choice between life and death should have been yours to make I should not have robbed you of that choice what a statement huh what a statement so I gotta tell you this moment was a huge relief for me because Freya played such an integral part in the first one. She saved Atreus. It was just, she was a great character. Started off as the witch in the woods. 
and in the end, she turned out to be, you know, Balder's mother, and then we killed Balder right in front of her. It's just awful, you know, and she it just broke her. She just was so angry that, um, we'll get back, oh, crap. Anyway, she was so angry, and she swore vengeance, and that was just a... You know, and then when you when you come across her in this game, right in the very beginning, Back she again. attacks you. Myself again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. <laughs> So yeah, so we've you know we've had this uh, strained relationship to say the least. I guess throughout the years they've uh, fought several times, and like she said, you know, he didn't want to kill her. He didn't want to live with killing her, and he didn't want to die. And that's why he always avoided the confrontations. I guess I don't know. But in any case, this was a huge relief. I'm glad she's back. We're going to wrap up this episode of God of War Ragnarok. As always, I'm Captain Beefy, and I thank you for dropping by. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it down below. That's great. It helps me out with the algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate it. I'm trying to hit 500 by year end, and we're working on it. Till next time, peace.